everybody. Happy Saturday, December 10th. You get me not showered yet because we're going to a party tonight. So I am going to try to hurry up and, and get this done. So uh, news on the a hug for you. I have one. I just have to bind off. Um, and so I'm really excited. I just have to bind it off and then weave in the ends and block it. So that is awesome um and i am going to attach a video right now of something you know it's a technique that i use sometimes when i'm having a little bit of yarn chicken and i just want to see if i'm going to be able to do another round or another row so i will insert that right now i'll be right back hey happy saturday morning so i just wanted to show you something that I, a trick that i use when i am doing a little bit of yarn chicken so if you remember a couple days ago i was a little bit nervous about how much yarn if i was going to have enough for the edging and so what i've done is i did the sleeves first so you can see here the little sleeves here's that pretty edging and I picked up all the stitches around. It kind of looks funky, but uh, these are all the stitches that you pick up around the front, around the neck, and then around the back. And I did a couple, uh, I've done a couple calculations using just my regular kitchen scale. So what I do to make sure that I'm gonna have enough yarn so that I'm not freaking out the whole time is I weigh the skein of yarn before I put the sleeves on. And that was 76 grams. So the, the skein was 100 grams. So 100 minus 76 is uh, 24. So I used 24 grams on that back panel. Then I weighed it again after I did the sleeves and I had 62 grams. So, and when I weigh it again, I weigh the ball that's left and I just stick it on the scale, I'll show you in a second. And so that, um, so that means that both sleeves took uh, 14 grams, which means each sleeve took seven grams of yarn. Then I picked up the stitches all around and I knit, I knit, two rounds and I had battery. Okay, so um, after I did, I picked up all the stitches and I knit two rounds. So technically it was like three rounds in my mind. I waited again and I had 41 grams of yarn. And then I knit two more rounds and I have 32 grams of yarn. So I know that each round is about five grams of yarn and i know that in the pattern i only have to do two more rounds uh, but i have i could do four more rounds if i wanted to because i have plenty of yarn so let me show you on my scale turn you around so here's the scale and i'm going to just turn it on Okay, and my scale has uh, this over here, which is grams. Okay, right now it's freaking out just because I'm touching it. Oh my gosh. Okay, so uh, I'm going to put this on my scale. Uh, it's in ounces, and I just hit this button. So it says I have 30 grams. So there we have it. So I know that each, each round is gonna take about five or six grams of yarn. So I could do potentially five more rounds and have plenty left over. Yay. I'm gonna finish this very quickly. And I'm also watching Holiday on Netflix. This is a cute little tree. My mom made all of these ornaments. She used to have a cookie party every year 
and she would make up all, all the ornaments and she would give them away. They were like, they were the favors. And then these things, these were like filled with candy canes or she would fill them with something cool. And this one, this is, um, it looks like an apple, but it's supposed to be a pear, I think. She did, uh, and then she had little birds and it was a partridge in a pear tree. <laughs> so there's that. Told you she was crafty. Okay, I'm gonna get back to this. I only have potentially two more rounds to go, um, but I think I'm gonna use up this yarn because why not? And uh, get working on that pattern. Um, I've noticed a couple spelling mistakes and this is a very old style of pattern writing for me. So I'm going to update the pattern and add the worsted weight, but look at it. I love it. Look at, here's the sleeve. Dead battery. So there's the detail on the sleeve. Okay, see you later. Kind of a fun trick and most all of us have uh, have kitchen scales in our house, right? So I really like to do that and um, it, it helps me, especially when, you know, I, I was finished with the six rounds and I thought I have plenty of yarn, so I'm going to do two more rounds. So it just gives me a little bit more border. So I'm really excited about that. Uh, the, um, the other thing is I did not get a chance to depill or block my sweater. And what happened was I realized that the hug for you excuse me, the hug for you was gonna be on my blocking board. So I wouldn't be able to have a hug for you on the blocking board and also um, the Knit a Rainbow sweater. So I definitely will be doing that um, soon. So don't worry, that'll be part of everything. So let's get into the advents. First up is Vita Lifestyle. And it is the stable, yay. Oh, so pretty. Oh. That is gorgeous. Oh, it looks gorgeous. Oh, man. I'm just going to stare at it while you guys all sit there. <laughs> this is the stable. Woohoo! Beautiful. Next up is Chelsea Yarns. Her Opre Ski. And day 10 is Berry Blizzard. I can't believe, by the way, that it is the 10th. I mean, two weeks from today is Christmas Eve. I'm starting to freak out now. I still have shopping to do. Ooh, Berry Blizzard. And if you want to put yesterday's, this is how they look together. And last, but not least, Suburban Stitcher, Quiet Voices. December 10th is, go to the winter woods, listen there, look, watch, and the dead months will give you a subtler secret than any you have yet found in the forest. William Sharp. That is true. All right. Oh. So now, oh man, oh man. It's just a beautiful, beautiful pink. Whoops. Whoops. 
So, uh, I did not knit at all on, uh, on my Advent shawl because I was working on the, um, I was working on the hug for you and it'll be done this afternoon, a hug for you. And then I'll be able to work on the shawl. Uh, but we have a party to go to tonight. And so I wanted to get this up. I'm really, I'm really pushing myself to get the, you know, to get these videos out every single day. I really didn't think that I'd be able to do it. And I'm pleasantly surprising myself. <laughs> 